All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kev. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 39. And today I will take you along with me to explore the ancient enigmatic site known as the Figsbury Rings. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. And don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Like, comment, and stay tuned if you want to help support the channel. Check out the Land of Chem members only section, link in the video description below, for exclusive research related content and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. If you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some Land of Chem merch, check out thelandofchem.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget to check out our two newest channels here on YouTube, Egypt Eats for food reviews and Egyptian Trash Cats for our adventures caring for our Egyptian street cat family. Thank you all so much for the support. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for today's intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And just a reminder, for anyone that is interested in joining for this year's Egypt tour, the 2024 Land of Chem Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour is on and bookings are now available. Check out the tour promo episode that just dropped yesterday. And if you want to be a part of this spectacular adventure, please send me an email to contact at thelandofchem.com with the subject line 2024 Egypt Tour, and I will send you the full tour itinerary and pricing details. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you soon here in Egypt. Now, on to the bewildering site known as the Figsbury Rings, which you can see here, that features a system composed of two concentric circle earthwork enclosures and two reservoirs. One exterior reservoir surrounding the structure here, and the interior reservoir surrounding the central mound here. And this dual reservoir system, which you can more clearly see depicted here from William Stuckley's 1700s exploration of the site, has baffled researchers and essentially completely falsified the idea that this was any type of quote unquote hill fort. So what was the original function of the Figsbury rings? Here is a LIDAR scan of the site, which was carved out of a chalk ridge, just like all of the other structures that we have been investigating so far in this area. And we've already thoroughly covered the dielectric properties and electric field storage capabilities of this material. And you can see here, the chalk still prominently evident across the sites in this little footpath. And even here, from this Google Earth image, you can see the exposed white chalk from which the site was created. And there is a huge patch here, right near the entrance to the site. And I'm not gonna get into the function of this site today, as I don't want to spoil the surprise that will be coming up in a future episode. But for now, I will say that while exploring this site, we noticed warning signs all over the northern side of the site, posted along a huge fence. And upon further investigation, we saw that these warning signs were indicating that trespassing was forbidden on the adjacent property, which is owned by the English Ministry of Defense. As you can see here, this is the Figsbury ring structure. And this area 
over here to the north is a secure military of defense property. There was also a military base right down the street from Stonehenge, and it is a remarkable similarity to the military bases that are in very close proximity to the Egyptian pyramids. For example, the one right across the street from the Red Pyramid in Dashur. Now, this may be just a coincidence, but if you Google Figsbury Ring, the first and most prominent search results will return all sorts of articles and images discussing crop circles near the site. Now, this is not my field of interest, but there is definitely something very unusual going on at this site. So I decided to do a little Google Earth investigation of this military facility and private Ministry of Defense land, and I discovered this. So here you can see the Figsbury Ring structure. Over here in this area is the private Ministry of Defense land. And you can see the full base of operations over here, which includes the DC BRNC range that you can see here, which a Google search showed to be the Ministry of Defense Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Center. And it just so happens to be sharing a piece of land upon which is an ancient site that is also prominently associated with crop circles. So what the hell is really going on at this site? And what was its original function? Well, you'll just have to stay tuned. And for now, I hope that you enjoy Sunday Site Visit 39 with the spectacular footage from my expedition to the Figsbury Ring. It's so sweet, babe. It's the cutest thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> She loves you. Oh. Look at your tail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that goat? Wood? It's good? Yeah. Goat? Hey. Is that the goat? He wants a kiss. We have the same beard. All right, everyone. We just arrived at our final destination on this expedition across the ancient landscape of England. A site called the Figsbury Ring. You can already see the channel running around the outside of the structure. And as always, I'll put in a diagram at the beginning so you can see the size of the site. I, mean, I just I just felt it again the same thing that we kind of experienced at old Sarum. all right so here around the outside is the exterior perimeter of this massive earthwork enclosure all the way around here And as soon as we crossed over the threshold into this circle, I felt a pretty significant physiological change. And here, another channel or reservoir surrounding the inner circle. This is 
pretty wild. So this structure is just an earthwork enclosure, external reservoir, and the center that we're now walking across. And you can see we're gonna walk across the whole site around the enclosure and then back through here in the center and I believe this is probably the center of the site over here yeah this looks to be the proper proper center and you know what we're about to do. I would say, yeah, in terms of distance to the perimeter. So I'm just looking around again, that exterior perimeter is here and we're, we're about in the center of the structure. So I know there's not much to see from your perspective, but This is a very impressive site and there's definitely something going on here with the location we felt the same thing at Avebury at Old Sarum and then here again at the Figsbury ring something very profound going on with these locations It's very difficult to describe unless you were here in person. But it feels extremely calm, serene, peaceful. But there also feels to be an abundant amount of energy. Again, I'm going to need to use those pseudoscientific words. People always talk about, oh, there's structures that are about producing energy. Well, energy is a very unscientific term. I think the more accurate explanation would be there is a convergence of the field lines of electromagnetic energy at these sites. Grid lines, ley lines. The Earth's electromagnetic energy field is very, very profound at these sites as it is with the Egyptian pyramids. They selected these locations very intentionally. So, we're gonna do what we always do and what we have done at pretty much every site across England. Walk around barefoot. And absorb whatever is going on at these sites and put some of it directly into our bodies. <laughs> so whether or not that's a good thing remains to be determined, but it feels pretty good just walking around here in the wet grass as opposed to the desert sand, at least for another week or so. So ladies and gentlemen, this concludes part one of our expedition of the ancient megalithic sites of Europe here in England. Part two. We'll begin with our expedition to Newgrange, County Meath, Ireland. Connections to ancient DNA from the Irish side of my family which the last name Drum is all across the western coast of Ireland, specifically around the area of County Sligo. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back in Egypt soon enough. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was Sunday Site Visit 39 from the Figsbury Rings. 
I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And in the next episode in the series, part two of an ongoing investigation regarding the electric fields inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. This is an episode you do not want to miss. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to The Land of Kevin here on YouTube. Click that little notification bell, like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only section and thelandofchem.com. Links in the video description below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Also, don't forget, please subscribe to our two newest channels here on YouTube, Egypt Eats for food reviews and Egyptian Trash Cats for our adventures caring for our Egyptian street cat family. Ladies and gentlemen, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's episode. So I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now.